So this is the third in the series for invitations to play. First thing I've put out are some printables from Twinkle, which is a UK educational website that you can subscribe to and get loads of lovely printables. They're cheap at the moment because of the pandemic, so a great time to subscribe. So these are to use with loose parts. There's, there's a face mat to make faces with, kind of backdrop mats to do little whirls and imaginative play on. And there's these pattern making mats. So we're going to add some trays of things to go with these. So really you should use anything you've got around your house from buttons to dolly pegs, lollipop sticks, maths counters, uh, go on a nature ramble and find leaves, stones, in autumn it'd be lovely with conkers and acorns and all the pretty colours of the leaves. So you could do it with anything and as thriftily as you like. These are bits that we've had from around the house. So leftover petals from our wedding years ago. A few little mushrooms, got some buttons, plastic insects and some twigs. Again, this is a, a Melissa and Doug tray that I've reused. Stones, pretty decorative stones, B&M decorative aisle, about one ninety nine for a jar. Obviously very chokeable. Um, our particular loose parts wouldn't be good for any children that mouth. <coughs> Would just be our older four using these. Um, craft matchsticks in natural or colours. Really good um, and cheap and you get lots of them from somewhere like Home Bargains or B&M. Fake flower heads, they're good for the imaginative play mats and some feathers that we had left over from a bird project. Also going to add mass counters because we've got lots of them and they'll be particularly good for the pattern mats and they're quite sensory when you have a lot of them. And another thing I found which I thought would be good is from a pattern block game I've just pinched the tiles and so that they can make patterns and have a go at using those. I'm also adding our big mirror mat um, as loose parts is great with a mirror play. Uh, this is the mat I reviewed from the set in a previous video. I um, really like it because of the size that several children can use it at once um, and because it's uh, obviously shatterproof with it not being glass. So there we have it. That's all ready for today. And it'll just buy me a bit of time to get some things done and keep the children occupied. I'll add some photos to the end of the video of how they use the parts and what sort of games they came up with. Thank you for watching.